Welcome to the part 3 of our series on the 100 Black Inventions that Changed the World. In this video, we step into a world where amazing inventions often get overlooked, like secret treasures waiting to be discovered. We're about to reveal the stories of brilliant black inventors and their incredible contributions to modern technology. These inventors made things that changed our lives, even though not many people know about them. In these series, you will find just a few of the most impressive inventions by black inventors that were never mentioned in school. Before we get right into the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can catch all the parts in this series and keep informed of our eye-opening black narrative. Number 60. Paper Bags William Purvis was an African-American inventor and businessman who received multiple patents in the late 1800s. His improvement on paper bags was one of the most impressive among inventions by black inventors. Purvis had a particular interest in paper bags and continually attempted to improve upon the bag-making process. In 13 years, he was granted at least six different patents for paper bag technology. In August 1890, Purvis was issued a patent for an improved paper bag machine manufactured satchel bottom shopping bags at an improved volume with greater automation than any previous machinery. His paper shopping bag machine utilized a combination of two suction formers that had perforated surfaces. The ends of the paper tube were fed between these surfaces and provided with two independent grooves arranged at different positions along the length of the formers, which gave shape to the bag and out of line with each other. Today, paper bags are something that most people can never do without. Paper bags are one of the best ways of storing food, as they do not contain any harmful chemicals or toxins. Number 59. Mechanical Cigarette Roller In 1897, James Sweeting, invented a clever device aimed at simplifying the process of rolling cigarettes. This invention, described in a U.S. patent file, consisted of two main parts, a cylindrical rod to hold the tobacco and a mechanism to secure the cigarette paper. By using this device correctly, anyone could effortlessly create a perfectly formed cigarette. The device's design made it accessible and convenient for regular cigarette smokers, as they could now roll their own cigarettes instead of solely relying on cigarette manufacturers. With this invention, individuals had the power to craft their cigarettes according to their preferences, providing a more personalized smoking experience. To use the device, one would place the tobacco inside the cylindrical rod and carefully insert the cigarette paper into the designated mechanism. Once everything was in place, the user could then roll the rod, which neatly wrapped the paper around the tobacco, creating a well-formed cigarette. However, to ensure the cigarette held together properly, it was sometimes necessary to moisten the paper along the rolling line, preventing the cigarette from unraveling. Number 58. The Bed Rack Henrietta Bradbury patented a bed rack that provided a space to hang shirts, trousers, and other clothing worn so that air could freshen them after they had been worn. The attachment bed attachment was designed to be easily secured to the foot of a bed and features collapsible rods supporting means and pedal mechanisms for opening and collapsing the attachment. In her patent, she stated that the primary function of the invention was to allow users to air their bed sheets and clothes after sleeping in the bed, thus maintaining them in a fresh and clean condition for the next use. The attachment comprised of two clamp portions that securely attached to the bed's legs. It also included extensions with pedal treadles that, when engaged, expand the collapsible rack structure. At the time, Henrietta M. Bradbury's bed attachment invention offered a simple and practical way to air bed clothes, making them fresh and ready for use. The collapsible design and dual trip mechanism ensured ease of operation and effectiveness in keeping bed sheets and clothes clean and well ventilated. Number 57. The Door Lock In 1889, W.A. Martin patented the lock, a revolutionary invention. His invention was an improvement to the original invented by the Chinese over 4,000 years ago. It then paved the way to the design of modern door locks. Before his invention, the conventional latch that existed could be easily bypassed using a thin tool. But Martin's innovation overcomes this issue. He introduced a square bolt that remains retracted when the door is open but is automatically triggered to extend and lock the door upon closing. The mechanism included a yoke with a pivoted arm that engaged a lug on the bolt to keep it locked back. To release the bolt and lock the door, Martin incorporated a trigger with a diagonal slot that interacted with the arm's pin, causing it to disengage. The trigger is then forced back when the door is closed, unlocking the bolt and allowing it to shoot out and secure the door. At the time, Martin's invention offered a more secure and reliable locking mechanism, 
ensuring that the door remains locked when closed without the vulnerability of being easily bypassed with tools. His lock design was significant not only for its security improvements, but also for its impact on the field of locksmithing. Locksmiths no longer had to rely solely on the ancient bolt design, but now had access to new and improved lock designs, eventually leading to more advanced security systems. Number 56. Lemon Squeezer John Thomas White invented the lemon squeezer for the purpose of efficiently making his own lemonade instead of buying it. Notably, John's lemon squeezer captures and stores the juice without the need for additional kitchenware. The device consisted of a holder with a removable receptacle placed inside a bore. A lower jaw fits into a rabbit on top of the holder, and an upper jaw is hinged to one edge. The jaws have handles and are aligned to bring their respective projections and depressions together. To use the squeezer, halved lemons are placed between the upper and lower jaws, and when squeezed, the juice is extracted through perforations and collected in the receptacle. The removable components make it easy to empty the receptacle after use. Number 55. Design for non-refillable bottle caps. African-American inventor Robert Reynolds, with his expertise in custom product packaging design, was granted a patent in 1899 for inventing the non-refillable bottle. It was designed with valve stoppers permanently attached to the bottle to prevent unauthorized or misinterpreted use. The invention benefited products that needed to maintain their original quality, such as medication and food. It also prevented consumers from accidentally or intentionally refilling the bottles with other substances that could cause contamination or harm. As a result, the non-refillable bottle became a standard packaging choice for products requiring high safety and hygiene. Number 54. Apparatus for Street Sprinkling System In 1879, William Bingo was awarded a patent for an apparatus constructed from perforated pipes connected to water mains and attached to sidewalks, streets, and roads. William Bingo's invention was a street sprinkling apparatus designed to improve the efficiency of watering streets, sidewalks, and lawns. The apparatus consists of a perforated pipe mounted on bearings attached to a curb or sidewalk, connected to water mains. By rotating the pipe, water jets can be directed to any part of the street's width, allowing for effective washing of gutters and sprinkling of sidewalks and roadways. To prevent clogging of the jet holes, the invention incorporates a protective shelter or guard over the holes. The apparatus can also be adapted for lawn sprinkling and other purposes requiring horizontal water jets. With this invention, the sprinkling process becomes more precise, efficient, and less prone to disruption, enhancing its overall utility. Number 53. Improved Gridiron Joseph Hawkins' improved gridiron is a cooking device designed to efficiently broil meat while preserving its flavor. The gridiron can be made in various shapes and materials. It consists of concavo convex or kima recta shaped bars placed parallel to each other. The meat to be cooked is placed on these bars, allowing the heat to pass through the spaces between them and cook the meat evenly. It was designed for heating or cooking meals, particularly meat, and could be placed inside a fireplace or on a campfire. However, during the early 19th century, the gridiron was not widely used as most people had already switched to using more convenient kitchen stoves. Number 52. Voice Message Recorder In 1931, Benjamin Thornton was awarded a patent for his Apparatus for Automatically Recording Telephonic Messages, an early version of today's answering machine. An answering machine is used for answering telephone calls and recording callers' messages. His invention was outfitted with a turntable for a record disc, an electric motor to operate the table, and an electric switch that connected it to the phone line. Utilizing a clock attachment, the machine could also forward messages, as well as track what time a call was made. The recorder also had an apparatus that allowed the user to record an outgoing message. Devices invented to record phone messages date back to the late 1800s. So Thornton's invention was not the first of its kind. However, the device's ability to both record and send messages, along with its ability to record the time of messages, was quite significant. Number 51. Wooden Portable Fire Escape In the 1800s, fire escapes were primarily available for commercial and multi-story buildings, leaving homeowners with few options. Daniel McCree solved the problem by designing a lightweight fire escape made of wood that could be easily attached to windowsills, allowing occupants on the second or third floor to escape in case of fire. His invention was a portable fire escape designed for interior use in buildings. It consists of a four-wheeled carriage with folding arms that can be moved to different rooms. The carriage held a safety cage that could be raised and lowered using wire ropes and winding drums operated by a hand crank. 
cleats on the cage steady it against horizontal arms, and brace bars prevented swinging during loading. The apparatus was equipped with a friction safety brake for controlled movement and a counterweight to prevent tilting. When not in use, the cage and arms can be folded onto the carriage. This fire escape allowed for quick evacuation from different rooms and floors during emergencies, enhancing building safety. His invention was awarded a patent in 1890, and modern residential fire escapes are still based on his design. Number 50. Casket Lowering Device The casket lowering device is an invention from a brilliant African-American inventor known as Albert C. Richardson. His invention of a casket lowering device was designed to improve the burial process. It consisted of a protective casing made of sheet metal placed in the grave trench to prevent dirt from falling onto the casket. The device included a movable head connected to a traveling screw, allowing controlled lowering of the casket. Casket supporting arms were attached to rods on the head. Once the casket is lowered, the arms can be turned out of the way, and the entire device is easily removed from the grave. This invention ensured a safe and dignified burial process, eliminating the risk of the casket falling and providing peace of mind to those who respect the deceased. This invention was very significant at that time and is used in all cemeteries today. Number 49. Ventilated Shoes In 1890, Henry Falconer was granted a U.S. patent for his invention of the ventilated shoe, a breakthrough in footwear technology at that time. Unlike modern shoes, sneakers, and athletic runners made with breathable materials, Falconer's design, aided by his expertise in prototypes for shoes, sneakers, and athletic runners, featured an innovative air passage between the material and lining, ensuring proper airflow in and out of the shoe. To achieve this, he fitted perforated inner soles to allow fresh air to enter the shoe without obstruction. Falconer's design included a rubber bubble under the heel connected to an upward-facing open tube, creating an air passage. Whenever the wearer took a step and pressed the bubble, foul air would be forced out, allowing fresh air to enter the shoe. Falconer patented the ventilated shoe on April 29, 1890, and thereby helped to provide comfort and healthy feet to the world. Number 48. Improved Pencil Sharpener African-American inventor John Lee Love would make improvements to the pencil sharper. His invention of a portable pencil sharpener also served as a paperweight and desk ornament. It consisted of a circular casing with a central chamber. The casing's upper edge had an inwardly directed flange with gear teeth. In the chamber's center, there was a raised portion holding a pivoted arm with a cylindrical pencil sharpener attached. The sharpener had a conical opening with a cutting blade and a central bore for collecting pencil shavings. To use the sharpener, you insert a pencil and apply slight pressure as the arm rotates the sharpener rapidly using gear mechanisms. The finely divided pencil shavings drop into the chamber, and when needed, the sharpener can be removed and inverted to empty the shavings. This invention offered a simple and functional device that sharpens pencils efficiently while also doubling as a decorative item and practical desk accessory. Number 47. Rotary Egg Beater When Willis Johnson invented his mixing apparatus in 1884, he had no idea how it would revolutionize the world of cooking. By transforming the slow rotation of a crank into a high-speed whisking motion, the machine could easily beat eggs and other ingredients, saving valuable time and effort in the kitchen. Despite being small and easy to use, the rotary egg whisk was powerful enough to impact food preparation significantly. His innovation was so influential that modern rotary egg beaters and electric mixers still use the same basic principle today. Johnson's invention was a game-changer for home cooks and professional chefs, earning him a patent and a place in culinary history. Number 46. Improved Fiber Optics Manufacturing A series of innovations in the manufacturing process of fiber optics led Thomas Mensah, an African-American inventor, to develop a new technique that could deliver 20 meters per second output in 1985. Previously, the fibers were produced at a rate of only 2 to 3 meters per second. Such a massive jump in production efficiency allowed the manufacturers to sell optical fibers at prices comparable to copper cables. Based on his work, further improvements in manufacturing methods eventually reached a peak speed of 50 meters per second. Mensa's innovative spirit and technological contributions have had a significant impact, making fiber optic communication a reality and advancing weapon technology. Number 45. Pasting Apparatus Robert A. Pelham invented a new and useful pasting apparatus designed for applying adhesive to paper strips used to build tabulated data in books or sheets. The invention consisted of a box with an inclined bottom to hold the adhesive, a supporting roller with an endless web that dips into the adhesive, and a floating idler roll to maintain proper tension on the web. 
There was also a multiple blade scraper for controlling the paste deposit and tensioning the web. Stretcher rods prevented the web from adhering to and winding around the roller. The design of the apparatus improved on the pasting process, saving adhesive and ensuring clean and rapid work. With Robert A. Pelham's invention came a more efficient and economical way to apply adhesive to paper strips, making pasting work cleaner and faster. The invention revolutionized the census-taking process and helped ensure more accurate and comprehensive data collection. Number 44. Improved Joiner Clamps and Furniture Caster David A. Fisher, an African-American inventor, designed two tools that revolutionized carpentry and cabinetry work, an improved joiner clamp and a furniture caster. The clamp eliminated the need for workers to pause multiple times to hold two pieces of wood together while applying glue or other fasteners. Instead, the clamp could mechanically and securely hold pieces of wood together, saving time and increasing efficiency. Fisher patented the invention in April 1875. A year later, in March 1876, Fisher received a patent for a furniture caster, which featured free turning wheels, or rollers, that allowed cabinet makers to move large pieces of furniture effortlessly. Number 43. Automatic Safety Brake the invention of the automatic safety brake could be described as a breakthrough and remarkable innovation by African-American inventors. Richard Bowie Spikes, who was almost blind then, invented and patented an automatic safety braking system for buses and trucks in 1962. The invention featured a dual, hydraulically actuated braking system with both a primary and reserve actuating means. If there is damage or a loss of hydraulic pressure in the primary system, the reserve system automatically engages to ensure continued braking functionality. This innovative system was designed to help prevent accidents by automatically stopping the vehicle if it sensed an obstacle ahead, reducing the risk of accidents caused by loss of braking action. The invention was quickly adopted by school buses across the United States, making them much safer for children. Number 42. Gong and Signal Chair Miriam E. Benjamin was awarded a patent in 1888 for her invention the gong and signal chair for hotels. Due to her invention, she would become the second African-American woman to receive a patent. As its name suggests, the chair had both a gong and signal connected to it. When the person in the chair pressed a small button on the side of the chair, it would ring a bell and display the red side of a ball on the back of the chair, allowing the attendant to see which guest needed help. The chair was designed to reduce expenses by reducing the need for waiters and attendants, and to obviate the necessity of hand clapping or calling aloud to obtain assistance. Her invention was also a precursor to the signaling system used on airplanes for passengers to seek assistance from flight attendants. Number 41. Streetcar Fender In the late 1800s, collisions between streetcars and other objects on the road were commonplace. Matthew Cherry, who had witnessed numerous incidents, decided to develop a protective device that could be fitted onto streetcars. He invented an improvement to the fender, a metal plate attached to the front of the car, designed to absorb shock in the event of a collision. Cherry was granted a patent for the Fender in 1895, and it soon became a standard safety feature on streetcars. In the chapters that come next, we'll learn about more inventions and their inventors, and how they changed the world with their ideas. As always, watch out for the next part of the series. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos to let more people know the truth about Blacks, and to hear their own part of the narratives. Thanks for watching.